That is a brewing bidding war. Comcast making a bold all-cash $65 billion bid yesterday for the bulk of 21st Century Fox's assets, setting up a showdown with Disney, which made an all-stock offer valued at $52.4 billion. That was back in December. Now, Fox says it is reviewing the Comcast offer right now, the development coming just one day after a federal judge cleared the way for AT&T's takeover of Time Warner. Joining us right now to talk more about that is Diversified Private Wealth Advisors President Dominic Tavella. Good to see you, Dominic. Good Thanks morning, so much for joining Maria. us. Good morning, Maria. How are you? What a great setting. Great a, setting. Unbelievable. It, it really Beautiful. is. Uh, wow. This is setting us up for a whole host of mergers in the media sector. Your reaction to what took place yesterday? Well, my reaction is we're all focusing on the Fed. We're all focusing on interest rates. And boom, this comes in, slams, takes all the attention away from what the Fed did. And it was literally the topic, the news of the day. Yeah, because now we're expecting more deals to happen. Mike Murphy, let's see how you see it. Totally. So, you know, we've heard for so long that content is king. And we've seen the move in Netflix stock because they're creating their original content. But I think you're absolutely right. Once you saw the AT&T Time Warner deal get approval, it just opened the floodgates for more and more people to come in. So now looking at Disney's offer versus Comcast, they're going to have to do something, raise cash, which is talk that they're doing in order to sweeten that bid or else it's going to go to Comcast. So Disney will have to come out and sweeten the bid. Let's talk about these bids because the Comcast bid valued at $65 billion is all cash and the, and the uh, Disney bid is stock. stock. Why would the Murdoch family want to go all cash when wouldn't that involve a huge tax bill? That's, a, that's the advantage of doing the Disney deal, right? They swap the stock. There's a huge tax savings for the Murdoch family, but the board has a responsibility to the shareholders to get the best price and the best value. So this is going to be a really cut cutthroat uh, uh, negotiation. Yeah, for sure. And when you look at the performance of Disney stock recently, it hasn't been performing well at all. It's been stuck in this $100 range for a very long time. So I think that makes the cash appear like a better offer than the stock does. All right, here's a big question, you guys. This is really where I want to zero in on, and that is Silicon Valley. Bob Iger is on the board of Apple. Does Apple come out here and try to help Disney with cash to try to get this bid up? I think they very well may, and but I think Apple, if they don't do that, they may go out and buy something on their own. They've talked about trying to create their own original content. It hasn't really worked so well. So everyone is now chasing Netflix. You know, they, they've taken this huge lead. Disney's coming out with their own streaming service uh, in the very short term. So I think Apple needs to get involved because there's a lot of content owners out there, and I think you're going to see it bro boil down to four or five major owners. And, of that, the and that's the thing. I mean, once that federal judge cleared AT&T's bid to acquire Time Warner, the, the challenge is integrating a phone company with an entertainment giant, but now everybody knows, yes, regulators will allow it. So that's why they, they think that the floodgates open up with more deals. And, and Maria, they have to, right? The, the people have been unplugging the cable boxes now for a long time. Net number of subscribers keeps going down every single year. Streaming, Netflix, Amazon is the future. So either these companies, these cable companies get involved or they're dead. So this is the future. So when they you, have have when you look at the landscape out there, there, who is most poised to perhaps do a deal at this point? I mean, content is king. We know that now. So the content players out there may very well be looking at the landscape saying, who do I want to get in bed with? I, I think so. The one that surprises me is Disney, because, you know, when you talk about content, Disney has arguably the best library out there. And the uh, and it's going to get better if it takes the tough Fox. Yeah, and Star Wars, Marvel, the Avengers, all that. But yet the stock has really underperformed. So now they're chasing Netflix. Now, now they've gone from the leader to the person trying to catch up. So I think they may actually, if this deal doesn't work for them, I think they'll be out there looking to acquire more assets. At this and, point, yeah, go ahead. And, and we know that Disney's had a problem with ESPN for a really long time. Those regional Digital networks that they can acquire as part of this package would really help the ESPN a lot. And I think would, that's been one of the drags on the, on the company stock. So we know that the Fox shareholders meeting is coming up in the next several weeks. So I, I assume in the next several weeks we're going to be back and forth. Maybe Disney comes back with a higher bid. Comcast comes back with that. This is going to be back and forth for a little while. It, it definitely will be. And there could even be new bidders coming into exactly. this because everybody realizes that you need to get bigger and own more content in order to win. As an investor in this 
this environment, you want to own media stocks? Uh, well, I wouldn't want to own the cable stocks. I wouldn't want to own the Comcast. The, this is going to be really expensive, right? The, uh, they started out at $65 billion. They already bought uh, the portion of Sky that uh, out of Europe. So this is an awful lot of money, most of it having to be borrowed, right? So, so you're talking about Comcast, but load. look at Fox uh, shares. The Fox shares keep going up. I mean, obviously. Well, this is going to be a this, bidding. This is a, a gift for This Fox. is the one everybody wants. Yeah. So would you buy that one here? Yeah, I think, I think it, it's certainly attractive. I think that, it's gonna, obviously the parent company of this network. I, I think the, the big concern, you know, a few years ago you heard about Amazon versus the retailers. And Amazon just destroyed them. And everyone said they were too expensive, you couldn't buy them, yet they've clearly won. Yeah. I wonder if Netflix is the new Amazon, if Netflix is going to actually be able to outperform everybody out there. But I, I think it's too expensive here in Netflix. I like Disney. All right, you like Disney. Uh, the other big story, obviously, the Federal Reserve. Raising interest rates yesterday, another quarter of a percentage point. We were expecting that. The Fed also signaled, though, that two more rate increases are on the way this year. That would be a total of four rate increases. Investors are also waiting on the European Central Bank decision. That comes to us in just over an hour from now, so we will bring you that news as soon as the uh, ECB comes out with uh, its, its latest uh, report from this meeting it's, that is underway. Dominic, what did you take? What's your takeaway on yeah, the Fed? So, so the 25 bips was not a surprise. Everybody expected that, but everybody's always focusing on the language. And this is the first time they really clearly indicated that we could be looking at four increases total for this year. I still think that's kind of on the fence. I don't, I'm not 100% convinced they're going to go with four because I think inflation is going to moderate later in the year. There's a cycle right now with, the, with inflation. So they had the opportunity to pause a little bit, but it's the first time they came out and clearly said there's a possibility of four Jay Powell was real positive yesterday, Mike, wasn't he? He was, and he should be, because I think they've told us for a long time that they're going to rely on the data, and we have an improving economy. You know, we, we talked for so long, Maria, that the economy's not growing. We're not getting real growth in this country. Now we have real growth. So if we're getting the rate hikes for the right reason, because the economy's growing and growing well, then that's a good thing. That's a positive. In a, be in a better backdrop, with a 4% grower of an economy, you want to buy stocks? Uh, I love stocks right now. We, we basically went full in about three weeks ago, and I'm confident for the balance of the year. Mike, what do you think? A absolutely. I think the market has a lot more room to run. As long as the data keeps showing that we're getting growth and the earnings growth is still there, it's a great environment to own stocks. All right. We will leave it there.